We're going to take a look at a Windows 2016 server. doesn't matter if it's standard or data center or any version of 2016 server. I'm going to show you how to do a couple of things. One is I'm going to show you how to edit the registry at startup in case you need to make a change where your computer becomes no longer bootable because of a registry issue. Also, I'm going to show you how to possibly recover from a virus that keeps you from logging into Windows because it's been hijacked. So let's take a look at going, I'm doing this from a Hyper-V uh, just because it's easier to demonstrate this on the video, but this works on physical computers as well. So we need to make sure that we're booting off of either a DVD or an ISO in this case. So if I go to the DVD, we can see under image file, we're booting off of the 2016 ISO file. The other thing we want to do, again, if this is a virtual machine, is make sure that the DVD is on top. Otherwise, you won't get the option to boot from it. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And we'll click Start, and we'll make sure that we press the button to boot off the DVD once we get prompted. And there we just got prompted. And now we're booting into Setup. We're in the Setup. Let's go ahead and click Next and choose Repair Your Computer. Now we're going to go to where it says Troubleshoot and Command Prompt. So we need to find out which one of these drives is going to be the boot drive with the Windows system folder on it. So all we have to do is type one command, bcd edit, and hit enter. And we go down to where it says OS device and system root. Now in this case, it says the C drive. Sometimes you uh, end up seeing it as the D or E, you know, one of these other letters uh, when you boot off of the ISO file. And there's no rhyme or reason to it. But if you type this BCD edit, then it'll tell you where it is at this time. So let's go ahead and type C colon, hit enter. And now that we know where the registry is, let's go ahead and type reg edit and hit enter. All right, so we're in the registry program, but we're not actually in the registry itself. So we need to open that up. So let's go to H key users. You can also go to local machine. Uh, you can go to current user. You know, there's various different keys that you can choose. Uh, but I'm going to expand H key users. And this is also the place you want to go in case you have a, uh, this virus issue. Uh, this is a potential fix for that. So let's go to file. And we'll choose Load Hive. Now, if this is grayed out, it means you're not highlighting one of the keys. So you've got to click on one of the keys. So if I just click on Computer, click File, Load Hive is not an option. So i got to click on H key users, Load Hive. And now I want to go to the C drive. And I want to go to System32. And then I want to go to the Config folder. So we'll scroll down a little bit, Config. And there's all of our registry files. So we're going to open up the software registry file. So we'll go ahead and click Open. Now we need to give this a temporary name. I'm just going to call it Repair, but you can call it anything you want. That way it's easier to find when we go to unload it. So I click OK, and we'll see Repair pop up here in a second. There it is. Repair has just popped up, and this is the actual registry itself. So we can go in and make changes to this, and it will stick when we go to Reboot. So we'll expand Microsoft. And then we'll type the W key to get down to Windows NT, and then Current Version. And now we have a whole bunch of other things. So you can go in and edit any one of these different keys or settings. And if you're having uh, an issue such as video or something else uh, that's keeping you from uh, booting in or, op or booting up, I should say, your Windows computer, then this will fix that. Now, let's just say we've got the virus issue that I mentioned earlier. So we're going to go down a little further to uh, Win Logon. So let's go to Win Logon here. And then we're going to go to the user init or user INIT. Double click on that. And this is where uh, viruses typically take control of your computer. They redirect this user init file something else. And then when you go to log in, it redirects you to wherever the virus is. So go ahead and type C colon backslash Windows system32 user init.exe, just like you see here. And there's a period at the end of that as well. And that will uh, allow you to take control back of your computer instead of having it redirected to wherever the virus wanted it. Now, there's also a possibility that user init has been corrupted, but this is uh, typically a way you would fix it so you could gain control of the computer. Now, once you're in, it doesn't mean that the virus is gone. You still have to go in and use antivirus tools to get rid of it, but this will allow you to log back into the server, typically, if you have this particular issue. So once you have the path set correctly, you can click OK, 
and now we've gone in and made changes and it's automatically saved. You don't have to, to hit save or anything like that. As soon as you make the change, it's saved. So I'm highlighting the repair folder that we created earlier to load the uh, system or the software file of part of the registry. So now we're going to go up to file and choose unload hive. Go ahead and click yes and now it's gone. And you can see with that gone, you don't really have any other option to make any other changes because that registry file has been unloaded. Now we can go ahead and click File and Exit, and we can exit from our command prompt. And we can go ahead and click Continue, or you can turn off your PC, whatever you want, and it's going to boot into Windows. And now we're logging into our Windows 2016 server, and everything should be fine when we go to log back in. There's been no permanent damage done by going and editing the registry. Of course, uh, as long as you don't make any changes that would cause any kind of permanent damage. But the good news is, in case you did, you can go back in and repeat those steps and you can fix up the registry. You can also compare to another server that is working properly and you can uh, double check that the uh, keys on that server match the keys on your server. And we're back in Windows, so I can go ahead and shut this down, and the editing of the registry is complete.